Hello and welcome everybody to a catalog review. Now, kids, before the internet, you wanted to buy something, they were called catalogs. Okay, if it wasn't in your local Kmart, then you had to go get a catalog, order it, and then whenever they had time to send it to you, you would get it in five to six weeks. Okay, so let's have a look here. This is not my address on the front of this. So there is actually an address on the front of this. It was mailed to somebody. So we're just gonna pull it out of the envelope and you can see, this is clearly the back of it. This is a 1970-71 catalog, okay? Now, Kenneth Smith is a custom club maker, was a custom club maker. And you can see some history here. They talk about um, introduced in 1926 and you can read all about the Kenneth Smith brand right here. Absolutely lovely. This is the back of the catalog, Kansas City, Missouri. Made in America, right? Now, these were not a pro-line club. They were made to order and oftentimes ordered by, let's face it, people who were a little bit more wealthy, right? Oil barons, uh, doctors, people who just wanted a nice set of clubs. Okay, so look at this lovely full color catalog. If you got this in 1970, you were feeling pretty good about life. Featuring Royal Signet, is that the shafts? Well, let's have a look and see what it says. I love stuff like this. This I absolutely love. I was researching some clubs and I pulled out this catalog and I was like, you know what? I should share this with the world. Totally outdated, but look at this. Um, Kenneth Smith trademarks, no twist cushion, signet, solidized, formica. Look at all of this like innovation and cool stuff. Uh, and look at the finishes here. Choose the finish you want. And I've seen a lot of these different finishes. Um, you've, I've reviewed one of these in on this channel. I believe it was the Dark Walnut, or maybe, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to go watch it. But look at this. It looks like there's a vertical laminate here. Uh, they have these lovely persimmons. Just absolutely, when you're talking about premium clubs back in the day, uh, they were custom clubs. Now every pro-line manufacturer tries to customize fit and custom fit you to clubs, but these were really quite significant when it came to handwork and personalization. So absolutely amazing. Uh, matched woods, you can see, matched swing balanced woods, all in one quality, the very best. So you can see here um, some of the specs on things. If you have a driver, the width of it, the depth, you know, of the narrow head, medium, small average, you know, and so you can see the men's length right here, 43 inches was the average length. So plus or minus would be based off of that average right there. Loft 10 to 12 degrees. And again, this is all customization. You could tell them exactly what specs you want. Look at this, properly fit your own swing. Sounds like all the major, major, major manufacturers. And so you can see medium driver, middle out, the middle small, or the medium small driver, inside out is actually the narrow driver. So whatever shape you wanted, you know. Super, super awesome. Color of choice, you know, grips, the shafts, the Rex alloy. This, these are aluminum days. And here are the irons, oh my goodness. I have some Kenneth Smith irons. Have I reviewed those yet on this channel? I'll have to, <laughs> if I haven't, I think I have. I'll be sure to get these out there. But absolutely lovely, stainless, long lasting. Are these stainless? Uh, so let's see, it should, it'll say here, somewhere along here. But they also have, if you're interested in the specs, these are the specs for the normal. And again, normal lie, normal loft. So if it's plus or minus, it's based off of this, all right? All Kenneth Smith irons, personal registered number, so they're registered. You can see the little bullseye right here. They have a cutaway to show you how the shaft is secured. I love the metal ferrules, actual size of the blades. It's such a good catalog. This is really well put together. Uh, in the future, I'll, I'll show you a Ben Hogan catalog. Hold me to that, like remind me, because I get so busy I forget some of the promises I made. Uh, remind, so remind me in the comments if uh, I haven't shown you a Ben Hogan catalog sometime in the next year or so. But this is far superior to like a Ben Hogan catalog, which has very, very few pictures. And these are color photos, glossy paper. I mean, this is really a nice catalog. Uh, again, you, I'm, I'm not reading all this because you guys can read it. I mean, why would I bother doing that? Average specs for women's woods, irons, all right there. Pause the video if you need to see those. And again, absolutely lovely. I've seen some women's sets too. Kenneth Smith, and they're lovely. You can see left-handed right here. Um, we're gonna not show too much of that paper. Uh, 
putters, you know, oh, let's show you these putter designs. So this is, these are putter designs back in the day. This is what they were looking at. You know, huge mallets. So this is the equivalent of like spider putters, ping, PLD, and then you have like your blades and like it, there's, <laughs> nowadays it's like, there's, it seems like more of a variety. Anything from like the thinnest blades to like the biggest mallets you can get today. And look at these fun grips. Informer rubber grip, square grip. Look at all this, this is awesome. Contoured perfo grip. Here's the Roland Wood putter. That's an awesome putter right there. Kenneth Smith with the little, I love the brass headless screw, the bullseye right there. So cool. Cost more, sure, but they're a lifetime investment. I love like the marketing, you know. Thickness of shaft walls. Here's the all Rex versus the Rex and the SS Rex. So cool. I mean, look at all this. Look at the deflection that they're showing you here with this weight. The different grips you can choose. Oh my goodness. So nice. Pro only. I have a swing weight scale. You can see right here. Lovely. Again, if you want to read this, pause it. Uh, there's no point in me reading all this for you if you want a, an audio book of reading a Kenneth Smith catalog. Well, perhaps someday I'll make one, but not today. Swing bout length of shafts, and there's all sorts of interesting things. Loft of club face, all the important things that people are looking for in their club fitting. Hole in one award. Look at all of this awesome stuff. Here's some, it looks like a lie measurements right here. Size and taper of grips. Now this is, the, to me, this is the coolest part. All right, so yeah, all right, that's all the stuff they make. But to me, this is absolutely the coolest stuff. This is them actually hand making the woods. This is their shop. Is that the lathe where they're spinning? I mean, like, look at this stuff. Abs and here's where they're taking orders. Here's where they're, do I can't see through the camera, it's, I can't see the detail. But I love watching them. You can see this looks like a finisher right here, a little sander. Here's a hacksaw. He's literally taking a hacksaw to a club, using hand tools to make this by hand. That's why when I see these, I get excited. That's why I make videos about these clubs is because these are craftsmen, craftspeople who are making clubs for people to play golf with. They're just not stamped out, not some AI just like, oh, we know what you want, we'll make it best. Nope, what you order is what you get. And then we get to some more like accessories and stuff. This is what you people were ordering back in the day. And there are people who will watch this video who are like, yeah, I remember that. So let us know in the comments below your thoughts. I'm gonna, what others say, here's some testimonials. If one of your parents or you, if you're on this list, let us know in the comments below. But I love stuff like this, it's so cool, you know. Oh my goodness, you know, your custom name stamped on them. Every time I've seen Kenneth Smith, there's like their custom, you know, names and stamps on here. It's so personalized. It's so cool. All right, let me know your thoughts about um, the Kenneth Smith catalog review. Uh, it was, you know, something that I want to do in the future just to get this information out there to the public. I mean, this isn't something that you just find every day. So that's it. I'm going to leave this here for eye candy and let's talk about fantasy golf. So congratulations to Matsuyama for winning minus 17. I mean, he had an awesome, awesome round here this weekend. Uh, List was there, Zalatoris. I, you know, obviously you can see, I'm gonna post the season, the tournament winners and the season leaders up here. Uh, it was just a fun, fun weekend. I was excited that Tiger Woods was back, but he did leave early with illness. So, you know, Tiger get well soon, man. I'm, I wanna see him in the Masters. It's always great to watch all of the competition, all the fun stuff going on in the PGA Tour. Let me know your thoughts about this weekend. What stood out to you? Any interesting stories? And yeah, it's absolutely great to watch. So excited to read your comments. As usual, if you wanna support this channel, you can support us on Patreon. I'm gonna put up a list of our patrons here. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. It's just general support. And I also really appreciate everybody who visits my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. You can see the link in the description below. I do have some golf accessories and some various things on that shop. You should have a look if you want. The link is in the description. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. I am The Vintage Golfer.